hello everyone welcome back and today I'm just going to show you the the feature which is available in editing framework code which is quite helpful if you want to do or if you want to perform some kind of filtration in your entities which is called a global filter so let's let's see how what is the issue and then then we'll come to the how it is happening so uh, let me run this application okay so let me go to the employee controller let me add an entry you'll see in my employee class i have name age contact number and is active whether that employee is active or not so what i want is i want to just show the employees whoever is active so you can see here so it is showing me the active one because we have not done any kind of filtration here since so this is coming from the index page which says contacts employees start to list so directly we are getting the number of employees available in the database okay so in order to achieve the filtration we have to put some kind of where condition here up after the employees object list of employees object so let's see how we can let me add one more entry here say K29 sun number okay and I'm not going to make this entry as active so we'll have a two entries is active and other one is not active but currently I'm able to see both of them so let's put some filtration here let me stop that and what I'll do I'll just set condition where is active And let me run this up. Come on. So since what it should only show the one entry which is active record in the database. Okay. So this makes sense when you have a filtration which is not applied globally because if you're talking about the employee class, which is is active mean not only in this page wherever you are using your entity your employees class i think most of the places you'll be using is active is equal to true so means you want to show only the active employees not the others so that you can add to the global query filter so instead see today we have a condition here if you want to read the list of employees in other place there also you have to apply the same condition otherwise you are going to end up with the list of employees which is not active as well so for for that case i think we can use a global query filter and i think uh, if uh, one more use case then it may be the tenant id if you want to filter the tenant id for so because in the multi tenancy environment you have a tenant id where you want only the specific tenant data in that case you can use the global query filter so first we'll see how we are doing that so I am just going to remove this from here okay so we are not filtering anything here let me put that in the TV context class where we are mapping our employee class and let's say has query filter says is active that's it you don't have to do anything else so it will while forming the query itself it will say where is active is equal to true so from the database itself it will not fetch any other information so in the performance wise also it will be great because sometimes what people do they they do some kind of two list and all then do, they do perform some kind of filtration so just put a break there itself instead of fetching the records then you filter filter in the back end itself so see if you, I'm not filtering anything here and then let's run the application and see what we see now let's go to the employee controller employees. okay so you can see so we, you're only seeing the one record let's add one more record and see I'll mark this guy as active 
I'll add one more guy. And I'll say not active. I will see that guy couple in, in the front. So see we are not doing any kind of filtration here because it's already been filtered in the globally in your DB context itself. So this, this is the kind of feature available in entity framework core, not in the entity framework. So it's kind of good. So if, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to post a few more videos in entity framework core 2.0. It's in the queue. So a few videos I have already posted. So if you want to, if you're interested and if you like this video, you can go, go ahead and watch other videos as well. Okay. Thanks for the day. Bye-bye.